Hello, hello everybody, and good morning. Time for some uh, EX Fenrir. So, and first up on my team, because I just recently reworked all of my EX teams, is going to be um, Halloween Yord. Gotta love that Earthring. Alright, next up is going to be Fang Hu. Alright, next is OG Yord. I guess that's how you say that. I don't know. Um, Walpurgis. And lastly, Broggy. So, here we go. Alrighty, so, um, Awakened Fenrir. Um, he is going to be in the melee row, is beast and is grounded. His action skill, Icicle Death, does 40% water attack damage three times and freeze for three turns to the nearest enemy row. Freeze effect applies only to Aesir, Humans, Therian, and Yotan. Uh, his auto skill does water attack damage and freeze for three turns and water wound for two turns to all heroes in the connect battle. Freeze applies to humans, Therians, and Yotuns. And water wound effect applies to all races. Um, he auto skill also applies the Abyss Haze Aqua to all allies. Which is really what you're fighting against is the little blue looking cloud thing. So... You have to hit him with, say, Bragi, Walpurgis, or the Turtle Girl skill, and then it'll apply the um, gray-looking cloud with a red X through it, which then you can reliably be able to do damage and not miss, because that's what the thing does. It reduces your damage by a lot and reduces your accuracy. Um, the most effective element is going to be Earth. But if you need filler weapons, you can use fire, light, and dark. He is equally um, resistant to those. Just a little bit more than earth, but earth is by far the best. Um, the aqua armor does powerful water attack damage 10 times to the nearest enemy. All stats other than HP 20% down, I mean up, for two turns to all of its allies. And quick for two turns to Fenrir. His attack ignores barriers and ignores counterattacks. Quick is only active on the second and third HP bar. And the Aqua Hawk does HP 10% down for one turn to all heroes in the connect battle. And all stats other than HP 20% down to all of its enemies. So, yay. Um, water attack damage 10 times for two enemies with the lowest HP. It also ignores counterattacks, and HP down is only active on the first and second HP bar. So, some other heroes that you can use that I'm not using are going to be Wanderer Port. It's actually a pretty good choice. That's who I was using before I got um, Halloween Yord. And, um,. Of course, the Tortoise God has the other Dispel that's meant for this fight. Um, you can use Noah if you really need a healer. Um, Granfelt, Kubira, Fatma are all good choices, as well as Awakened Sloth. And possibly um, you could use, if you got Lucky Tamamo, she's pretty great too. So, Pretty much, you're going to want to hit him with Dispel, and then get rid of the back to the hawk and the armor and then it goes fairly easy from there now I like using Halloween Yord because of the ring skills are pretty OP it ups your damage and it also lets you kinda like leech so it's extra damage and healing Uh, let's check and see who did the most damage, and I bet it's going to be OG Yord. And it is by quite a bit. So that's going to be it, and thank you for watching.